I'll wait until someone packs one. Okay, right. Welcome everybody to Withington Golf Club and this is our first periscope of uh, Withington Golf Club's history. So uh, bear with us, might be some teething issues. Um, so what we thought we'd do is we'd uh, interview recent board champion Paul Allen on a few, few points on the course and, and some opinions on the British Open. So the format will be, we're going to ask some questions from Withington Golf Club to Paul. And then we'd like to take some questions from anybody that's watching this Periscope feed now. All right, so we'll get kicked off. Paul, you uh, mentioned to me uh, yesterday that um, you, your predictions for the British Open. So after seeing the first day of action, have you got any predictions to who you think will win? Uh, yeah, the, so the, uh, the original prediction was Paul Casey. Uh, did really well in 2005, finished second, um, playing really well at the moment. So. Uh, I stuck with Paul Casey. Uh, looks like I'm going to lose a bit of money on it as well. Um, Dustin Johnson's a massive, massive favourite of mine, so uh, I'd like to see him win. I think he's had a, a tough time recently, and uh, he's a massive striker of the ball, and that's always fun to watch. So yeah, it'd be nice to see PJ win. Okay, so he's going with the clubhouse leader, Dustin Johnson. Right. Okay. What score do you think you might be able to score in the competition on Saturday? Um, Really tough question. Um, this season's been a bit up and down. Um, anything from 105 to uh, to 75. So I'd be really pleased if I can play to handicap and also get a some time. Good stuff. Sounds good. How's your season? Go how's your season going in general? Uh, really well. It's a really really strong season this time. The uh, the medals normally for me are quite difficult because I'm uh, a bit of an erratic golfer. I uh, I try and hit the ball a long way, so keeping it straight has always been a difficulty. But um, making making a, a decent score this year, like sort of 75 in, in the Centenary Cup, was uh, was just re just reward from from the hard work that I've been putting in over the last sort of five six weeks. So yeah, it's going well. And is there anything part of your game that needs any work or anything like that? Um, there's a, quite a few members that uh, that could comment on that, maybe more than me, but. Uh, Short puts at the moment are, are costing me. So anything in the, into sort of five feet on yeah. is, uh, is really costing me. And certainly with the, the conditions of the golf course and the greens are in tremendous shape uh, with the sort of work that the ground staff are putting this year, I need to really start honing in on them and, and taking yeah. advantage of that course. Because like I said, the greens are, are in amazing shape. Yeah. So yeah, really, really honing in on those short puts because they're costing me. One of the members just tweeted, tell me about his short putts. Um, ben. So, short putts, yeah. Um, three footer, uh, 15th hole in the uh, quarter final of the pairs. Stiff the seven iron to within three feet. Uh, we were two down at the time. Obviously, massive putt. He didn't give it me. Right. Uh, I clearly know that I'm, uh, I'm weak on my short putts uh, and didn't make it. So, uh, apologies, Ben. We'll certainly try harder in the winter. Maybe next time. So that's your putting. Have you got a favourite club that you like to use? Um, yeah, I, I mean I love the driver. If if the driver turns up, then then I can really do some damage on this course. It's uh, it's a big weapon for me. Um, so getting that going has been really really important this year. So yeah, the favourite club is definitely the driver. Yeah. Um, just gotta try and keep it straight. That's the, that's the issue. Cool. And what is your favourite hole at Withington Golf Club? Favourite hole? Yeah. 12. Right. Why? 12 is, is a, normally a shot hole for me in match play. Um, it's a birdie hole all day long. Yeah. Um, nine's not bad either. There yeah. is a, there's a rumour going around that I did get an albatross on there once. So uh, that's, got, that's got particular fond memories for me as well. Okay. Excellent. What ball are you using these days? Um, so the last couple of years I've been tightless velocity, um, trying to get a bit more power out, out of uh, out of the club. But uh, last week we did a, um, a sort of ball fitting with uh, with Bristol, and they came down and, and spent a bit of time with a few of the members. Um, so I'm trialling at the moment the E6, which they've sort of said that it, it's going to reduce the fade. Um, yeah. 
sort of try and keep it a bit more straight um, and, and sort of get the launch angle higher into okay. the air quicker. So it seems to be going well at the moment. I'm quite pleased with it. So uh, yeah, the Bridgestone E6. Okay, and before we open it up to some questions for everybody watching, have you got any messages for any of your playing partners? Yeah, uh, Chris, I always come second ward. Um, I've not seen you for a couple of weeks. We're playing together on Saturday. Make sure that wallet's stacked, mate, because uh, me and Benners are going to take advantage of that. Okay, so that was directed at Ward Etty. That, That's yeah. correct, yeah. So Ward Etty. Mr. I, uh, I always come second, Chris Ward. <laughs> All right, so have any Withington me uh, members that are watching this, or anybody else got any questions for Paul? Be kind. <laughs> What's the launch angle of that quiff? Well, uh, I don't think you need to answer What's that. What's the launch angle of the quiff? <laughs> not, uh, not that much at the moment. The wind's behind, so uh, yeah, only maybe an inch. Okay. Nice. If you don't win the competition on the weekend, have you got any opinions on who might win it? Um, yeah, Ben. Ben Etherington at the moment is uh, he's playing some really, really good golf. So. It'd be really nice to see him when he's put a lot of hard work in this season. Um, he's a good friend as well, so uh, it, it just means the presentation that will be even more fun. <laughs> okay. Have you had a question somebody asking what your handicap is? Uh, 12. Okay. How much credit do you owe to your playing partners when you shot your net 61? Uh, for 15 holes, none. Because they... Um, they were nowhere near me, but for, for the last sort of three holes, they really, yeah, they really kept me going, and uh, and they knew that there was a score going on. So, yeah, Andy McGovern and uh, and Chris Ward, yeah, there's a beer in the uh, there's a beer in the pump for both of you on present on the presentation night. Okay, sounds good. Who's the best 18 handicapper at Withington Golf Club? Um. That's a really, really tough question. Uh, I'd say Anthony Eno and Dan Armstrong are really up there. They're on ladies' handicaps at the moment, and they are they're, they're 15s and they're 14s. So uh, yep. yeah, they've got a chance to really, really win something big this year before they get cut to a proper handicap. Okay. All right, a couple more questions. So one of the last questions is. Um, Obviously, Withington's your favourite golf course in the UK, um, but have you got any other favourite courses you like to play? Yeah, I've, uh, I've been lucky enough to play St Andrews, um, which was a phenomenal experience. Obviously, this week's been nice watching that. Um, I'm really, really enjoying the opportunity so, uh, to sort of play out um, at Mir at the moment. So we yeah. do a couple of Opens a year with them, and it's a great course with great facilities. So, uh, yeah, St Andrews and, uh, and Mir is a nice one at the moment. Okay, well I think that's all for questions, so thanks Paul for your uh, first ever interview, and uh, thanks for everybody for watching.